Something else that we'll be tracking on Good Morning Colorado. Abby is going to give you a look at all of the snow that should be ongoing as you wake up tomorrow morning up across northwestern Colorado. But we're going to have to wait a bit for it here in southern Colorado. It's going to begin to move into the Denver metro area right around lunchtime. So if you're heading up for the day in Denver, we are expecting to see that snow beginning during the early afternoon. But here in southern Colorado, we're likely going to see the main band of showers, which will be in the form of rain for the lower elevations, with snow up across our local mountains beginning during the late evening. So here's a look at 7 o'clock, which is when Skycast is showing that band sliding south across the Palmer Divide into northern El Paso County and northern Teller County. What this means for you is tomorrow evening's drive for most should actually be okay. Could see a few wet spots, but we'll have to monitor this closely. If this storm system speeds up, tomorrow evening could be a bit of an issue. Watch what happens, though, as we take you into tomorrow night. Here's a look at midnight. You can see how those storms not only expand in coverage, but all of those dark blues, dark purples show this storm intensifying as well, bringing some heavier bursts of snow across the mountains and could even see some heavy bursts of rain out across the plains, something they definitely need. More moisture is definitely a good thing across southern Colorado right now. Not a good thing, though, as far as your Wednesday morning drive is concerned. We're going to keep that snow around through 4 o'clock in the morning. It's going to begin to wind down from north to south during the morning drive. Here's a look at 8 o'clock. We'll still have snow falling across southern parts of the I-25 corridor, but by 8 o'clock, the snow should come to an end around the Pikes Peak region and Pueblo. So kind of summarizing everything here, we could get a few heavy bursts of snow late tomorrow evening, so road conditions likely deteriorating tomorrow evening into tomorrow night. With wet roads tomorrow evening. Those could get icy by Wednesday morning, which means Wednesday morning. Plan on it now. Looking like it's going to be a bit of a slow go. High temperatures tomorrow in the 50s and 60s before that colder air moves through. Once that colder air arrives, though, we're going to get a big change. 40 degrees your high temperature on Wednesday. This cold air doesn't last for long, though. Back in the 50s and 60s to round out the work week and take you into the weekend. Pueblo 65 tomorrow before the cold front pushes through. Temperatures will drop during the late afternoon and into the evening. We're only in the 40s on Wednesday, and then we're back in the 60s to round out the work week and take you through the weekend. So we're only going to have to deal with winter for about 36 hours. Canyon City 66 tomorrow, 41 on Wednesday. Back in the 60s for Canyon City also Thursday through next Monday. And in Teller County, 49 degrees tomorrow. We'll have that snow developing tomorrow evening, sticking around through Wednesday morning, winding down by Wednesday afternoon. Afternoon. So Wednesday morning, really my biggest concern right now. But as I mentioned, if the storm system speeds up just a little bit, that'll put tomorrow evening in the hot seat for a few icy spots. So check in on Good Morning Colorado tomorrow. It starts at 4:30. Abby will have some new weather information to share with you. Let you know if that timing has changed at all. All right. Okay. Thanks so much. All right. Coming up. The